My name is Stephen Brundage. I am 25, and I'm from New York. What are you doing for us today? I am going to do Rubik's Cube magic. Okay. Simon, can you actually mix up that Rubik's Cube? Turn it as much as you want. Cover it up. Watch close. Right about there. No. Perfect match. When I was really little at school, I had speech therapy and physical therapy. I was pigeon-toed, so I was walk inward like that all the time. I was bullied pretty heavily. But then I discovered the Rubik's Cube. I brought it to school, and within like two minutes, I had a giant crowd of kids around me watching me solve it. So it became a way for me to connect with people, to make friends, to feel like I belonged. I take my Rubik's Cube everywhere I go for the most part, and it's gotten me out of trouble a few times. I was pulled over speeding. So I stepped out of the car, and then I did magic for the cops. Holy oh. How did you do no. that? <laughs> I got out of the speeding ticket, which was nice. All right, man. Well, I wish you the best. OK, thank you. Go man. out there and show them what you do. Will do, man. Thank right. you. <laughs> I have one chance to get to the live shows. If I make one wrong move, the entire routine is ruined. These are the most important 90 seconds of my life. Hi, Steven. How are you doing? I am very excited. If you won this competition, what does winning mean to you? That would be the most amazing thing in the world. That'd be like, oh. <laughs> Continue on, please. <plate>. Fantastic. <laughs> what we have, that you don't have, is you seeing it here. No. Yeah. So I decided, since I didn't use all the judges, I want to come down one more time uh, up close to you and do something amazing. Melby, really important question with the Rubik's Cube. I'm going to start to mix it up. Uh, here's my question. Is that Rubik's Cube still mixed up on all six sides, yes or no? It looks like it, yes. yes. I want you to watch close. If I turn the Rubik's Cube one time, that's still going to be mixed up. The cheating happens a moment. You throw it straight up in the air. <laughs> This time, twice as hard. We're going to take the Rubik's Cube. It's going to happen right in front of your face. If you actually blink, you're going to miss it. Watch. Completely mixed up from there, less than a millisecond. <gasps> what are you doing that? That's ridiculous. Wow. This is making me nervous. Reba, can you help me out? Sure. Awesome. I'm going to step right up here. Reba, hold out your left hand flat for me there. Everyone watch the bottom of the Rubik's Cube closely. Watch that close. Like that. Now your job is to guard that Rubik's Cube to the very end of the trick. Can you do that? Yep. Fantastic. Because nothing's pressure. gonna happen, don't worry about it. Okay. And we're gonna do a card trick real quick during this moment. Um, Heidi, can you actually help me select the card? Yeah. Fantastic. Before you select the card, really, really important, I'm gonna make sure to give that deck a really good shuffle. So as I go through the cards, <laughs> any card that you want, it's a completely free choice out of 52. Heidi, when you see a card you want, name it out loud, yes. any one you want. The Six of Diamonds. The Six of <laughs> Diamonds. Wait, okay, that card in the middle. Very important question. Have I touched that Rubik's Cube, Reba, since nope. I gave it to you? No, sir. Everyone watch the Six of Diamonds closely. Watch that close. Did you turn it up? Watch that tiny little corner piece. I'm not moving my eyes off. You can look at it. I'm going to get that tiny little corner piece to completely disappear from my hand, fly in the air, and land underneath the Rubik's Cube in Reba's hand. No, no you no. can't do that. Oh, no. If that corner piece is under, that'd be amazing, right? Yes. yes. Reba, lift it up slowly in a loud, clear voice. Is the corner underneath there? No. No. That would have been awesome. It would have been. <laughs> I'm going to do one better. That tiny corner piece is going to go inside the Rubik's Cube in your hand. Heidi, can you hold impossible. on to the six of diamonds? Uh -huh. Just like this. That's impossible. It is now inside. My hands are empty. I'll take the cube back. I want you to watch really, really closely. I'm going to take off a tiny little piece right there. If I actually break off that tiny little corner piece, everyone's going to notice we're going to have a tiny little Do you mind unfolding that corner piece? That's crazy. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Yes, it is. No, 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 no. Oh, no. my God. That's ridiculous. How do you do that? Wow. Nobody can do what you just did unless it was true magic. They can't, because we were watching it. 
But this is almost like, not like a magic trick. It just happened. It's magic. Because I was holding it and that and nothing, and I wouldn't take my eyes off of it, and there it was. You're very, very good. Thank yes. You. Congratulations. Okay, Howie. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Me too, ditto. Amazing magic. Here's my question. Your showmanship, I think, is charming. You're just as lovable, likable, all-American guy. And I wonder if you, if that charisma is going to hurt you if you should be lucky enough to go on. Do you mean where... he hasn't got charisma? I don't think he's got showmanship. Oh, he does. Oh. <laughs> I totally disagree with what you're saying. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Your charm is that you just so casually do this, and what you do is absolutely mind blowingly amazing. Thank you. Did you do enough to get through? We'll see. I mean, there's a lot of talented people here, so you know, if I go through, that'd be amazing. Do you not think his humbleness and his low keyness will hurt him with America? 